Hi, I'm Nancy with Homestyle Woodcrafts. Welcome to our channel today. We are going to be working on some wood hearts that James cut out for me last week. If you would like to see how he did that, uh, feel free to follow the link that we'll leave below. Um, we would like you to like or comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. For our supplies today, we have our three wooden hearts that I'm going to be doing. I've got my three Valentine stencils. We're going to be doing conversation hearts. Um, I found these stencils. It was actually a set of six off of Amazon. You can find them there. And I have a variety of apple barrel uh, paints that I will be using. I'll be using Purple Pansy, Sunny Day, and Cameo Pink, and also uh, Harvest Orange. Some of these were a little too dark. The purple and the orange were a little too dark. Um, the purple one I did actually earlier. And here's how, here's how it turned out. Um, so I added some of this Snow White to it to get the color that I wanted. So we have that stuff. We have my three brushes that I will be using and we have a stenciling brush, which is a brush that has a very flat top to it and it's rounded. And then I have a teeny tiny brush, which is going to help me uh, paint the bridges on, of the stencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a heart and a color. We're going to start with this orange. This wood is so beautiful. It's got some great, the grain in it is so pretty. So we're just going to start and I'm just going to do one coat. Conversation hearts to me are of, you know, the very pale uh, color. All right, this part is so fast and easy. Uh, while I do the other two that will allow for the first one to dry, so I'll just go ahead and hurry and paint these up and we'll forward through, through this so it will be faster. Okay, we have our hearts painted. We're at the last two that I did, we're gonna give them a little minute to dry. And we can start stenciling already. The paint on these hearts are, it dries very quickly and it's such a thin coat that uh, doesn't take more than, you know, a minute probably to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So we'll start with this stencil. This is the Kiss Me stencil. I'm going to center it the best I can. Now, while you're getting ready to do this, you can um, tape it down if you'd like. It makes it harder to do that because the piece of wood is so small. But um, you could put some tape like on the very edges and that would hold the stencil down. Uh, if the wood was bigger, I probably would tape it down. But since it's not, I'm just going to hold it down and it will be just fine. I'll pick up my stenciling brush. We're going to use the... Um, honeysuckle pink from Apple Barrel as the lettering. Now you want to make sure that when you're doing this that you pick up a little bit of paint on your brush and then you dab it because you want to get a lot of that paint out of there. Uh, when you are stenciling it will, um, it bleeds very easily. So you want to make sure that you get a lot of that paint out. Um, and if you need to go over it a time or two, you can do that to make it as dark as you would like. So we're going to start. You don't brush like this. You dab at it. You tap it. Okay, we've got the kiss word done. I'm going to pick up a little bit more paint where I, not in the paint that's fresh, but in the paint that I had already dabbed off on the paper plate. So I just got picked up some of that paint and then I'm gonna go back over, second, over me. 
and tap some more. I found that I can hold it down here. It's very important the stencil doesn't move. So I can hold it down here. I can edge and look at that. And to me, that is definitely dark enough. So I don't even need to go over that again. So I will continue to do the stenciling in the same color and we'll speed it up so that you can see what the finished product is going to look like. Here are the three hearts that we just painted and stenciled. And now we are going to talk about a few ideas of how can we use these hearts as Valentine's Day approaches. The most obvious way to display these conversation hearts is how you would display the candy conversation hearts. If you have a small glass bowl, you can just stack them inside this bowl. This one's a little bit larger than I would like. A smaller one would work better, but they're just so cute inside this bowl. They look like a bowl of candy conversation hearts. Another cute way to display them is to just set them up on the mantle. If you've got greenery like I've got, you can just kind of stick it in between. Looks so cute up there. A couple of other things that you could do with these hearts. I actually made another set earlier this week, and so I had a few extra. Uh, if you've seen the Conversation Heart um, wreaths, they are just so, so cute. So if you had a... Um, you could actually get a wreath, and then you could glue these on. Um, or you could have, get an embroidery hoop and you could glue them on the embroidery hoop and then string a little ribbon from the top and it would just make an adorable wreath. Uh, something else you could do is if you were so inclined, you could drill some holes through the hearts sideways. And if you did that to all of them, you could make a very cute uh, conversation heart garland and string it across. Uh, you also could drill holes through here, down through the bottom, and you could string ribbon through it, and then you could hang them on the wall. So there are so many things that you can do with these. If you have any other ideas, please feel free to share them, and we'll see you next time on Homestyle Woodcrafts. Have a great day.